Hello, my name is Evan Chancellor, and this is part of my series on the Max Potig Preparatory Melodies for Solo Work. This is number 26, the Adagio from page 10. This is one of our lovely lyrical pieces, uh, often asked for on auditions, especially at the junior high and high school level for honor band and such. Uh, I'm going to take a look and give you some comments on how to work on this piece, and then I'll play it for you again. So this is a beautiful lyrical tune. Uh, again, what we want to hear, anytime you're playing a lyrical piece for audition or concert, we want to hear great sound begin with great sound. Think about the kind of sound you want to have, and as you go through, you should be singing this in your head. The, the places that you have leaps and things that are maybe difficult to play accurately usually come down to being able to hear them accurately, first and foremost. Uh, go through and find where the pitches are, and get used to singing this in your head. You should hear it in your head when you're playing. Um, this is a song, so imagine it as a song. Da -di -da -da -da. There's some places, for instance, this first breath mark doesn't really make a lot of sense. If you can go through all the way to the end of that phrase, since it is marked as a phrase, and it is a phrase, it's a lovely musical phrase. If you breathe in the middle of it, it's like singing, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And you know, we break the phrase in a funny place, and it, it, it jars our, uh, our ears as a listener. Better not to break the phrase and go all the way to the end of the phrase before we breathe, if that's possible. Um, this next bit, this is an interesting articulation, this this uh, dot under the slur. For for young players, the best explanation is to say that this should be articulated basically legato tongue, or like you would play tenuto. Uh, this is what we call the portamento articulation, and uh, it comes from violin bowings, and the, you'll hear this done by, very differently if you listen to a flute player, a clarinet player, a trumpet player, and a horn player interpret that same marking. Uh, but for horn, generally, these should be basically legato tongued. So they are articulated, but they are smooth. They're not to be separated. Uh, this, this little scale passage coming up. Keep the air moving through the descending slur. This might be a thing to try on the mouthpiece. A lot of this would be really good to play on the mouthpiece, uh, or playing on the mouthpiece perhaps while fingering. Uh, really helps to solidify pitch. We have a very similar passage here. Each of these should grow naturally. There's a lot of little rises and falls dynamically written in here. These should happen naturally with the line. It's very natural that that line should crescendo and then slightly decrescendo. Don't overdo these. Uh, where you can probably overdo it is where you have forte, da da di da da, piano. You can make a lot more contrast with the horn usually than what maybe you you want to just listening to yourself play. Uh, horn is a directional instrument pointed the wrong way, so any time that you can overdo dynamic contrast, uh, that's it's generally a good thing. You know, with this piece, the forte shouldn't get too big and brassy, but it can get fairly strong. It can get significantly louder than your soft sound. Um, we have a couple of rhythmic differences. One is right here. You have a very similar figure, three notes as a triplet, da di da da, and then da 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 da. Uh, so make sure that this is a clear triplet, ya pa pa, ya pa pa pa, as opposed to da 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 da. Right here, you have the note on the downbeat, the sixteenth notes on the upbeat. Make sure that this is different from your triplet. The other one is this passage, the toward the end of the first phrase. Da 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 di da da da, as opposed to the ending, which is very similar. Ya da 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 da. They're the triplet, basically the same figure, but a triplet instead of a duple figure, and with a slight retard. So be aware of these these small differences rhythmically between different sections. I'll play this piece for you again now, and you can follow along in the music. Thank you. 